Let me show you how to calibrate your E88, E88 Pro drone and uh, also any other similar looking drone. So they have different names, but they are pretty much the same drone really. It's made by the same guys. So the first time you actually get this drone and if you actually try to fly with it, you will probably see that it actually like it can't keep itself stable maybe it drifts a lot to one side and maybe it's extremely hard to control and basically we actually have to first calibrate it before you actually fly it so that's what you have to do if you have those problems so the way we do it is it actually has to be on a completely flat surface so it actually has got these internal like uh, gyros inside so it actually has to know in which uh, like uh, basically position it is in currently and it needs to be on a completely flat surface so make sure it's super level so do not hold it in the, in the just like hands level that's not good enough or don't put it on a slope somewhere it has to be completely flat on a completely flat surface then we can turn on the drone and to turn it on first you actually have to turn on the drone and wait till it uh, like flashes like this then turn on the remote so again uh, to successfully pair both of them together you have to actually turn on the drone first and only then remote if you turn on the remote first uh, it, it most likely it won't even connect properly then uh, you can probably even start flight if you want to but again each that really needs to be calibrated and the way we do it is we simply hold these levers uh, like this pull them and hold for like two seconds it will start to beep so hold and once it starts to beep we can release and as you saw it starts to flash as well so again make sure it's on flat surface completely flat and hold these down for like two seconds it will beep and then once it beeps it can release and it has been successfully calibrated now and we can start uh, flying so what if it's still uh, like uh, pulling to one side and not being very easy to control so what we have to realize is uh, this is actually a toy grade uh, like drone so it's not a professional drone and it's not <laughs> really the best quality so it's actually normal for it to do that so actually if uh, there is a way to actually fine-tune this drifting so if drifts and you simply want to uh, make sure it's level on one spot you can simply click these buttons over here um, so for example if it drifts to that side we can simply click this again uh, to find unit we do not hold it but click 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 like like this so uh, it it can be fine-tuned a bit actually so and also same for the forward and backward so simply observe on which uh, direction it pulls and simply then control it and then um, once it's stabilized you can then start to actually fly it so that should provide you the best experience also here is the manual if you do not have your end more so it talks about the horizontal calibration how to do that and also the fine tuning uh, to adjust for the drift but again these <laughs> manuals like are very hard to understand so again feel to pause it if you need it but again uh, this drone it's it's not a precision drone actually and again this uh, cost around ten dollars so again it's not a, like super high performance drone and again it's actually completely normal to for it to be uh, like uh, not uh, not the best obviously and you are you aren't the only person who have these problems with the drone also the first time you get it um, do not attempt to actually fly it outside in the wind so it you will pretty much uh, be you will be you won't be able to actually control it in the wind so it's not mean for wind so your best bet is to maybe try to learn how to fly it indoors first so there's like big open space and uh, without any wind uh, like even the smallest so like try to learn uh, how to fly it indoors first before you actually take it outdoors and again this drone it it can't handle wind at all so it's completely terrible flight and yeah the stabilization it doesn't have like um, any advanced uh, technology inside so it can actually stabilize it itself and yeah it's actually com completely normal for this stuff to be kind of wonky and not the best anyway good luck